I'm Mark Austin. These are some of the stories we're following today. Kerrville police say one of their officers shot and killed a man who threatened him with a knife over the weekend. Happened outside a tobacco shop on Sydney Baker Street yesterday afternoon. Kerrville police say they originally got a call about a man walking down the street waving a knife. A police spokesman said the man threatened the officer with the knife shortly after the officer made contact. We're told the officer feared for his life and defended himself, shooting the man at least once. Sergeant Jonathan Lamb says there was no other option available to the officer. First and foremost, tasers are not always effective, but the reason a taser was not utilized in this instance is Kerrville Police Department are not equipped with the tasers. The Texas Rangers and Kerrville Police are investigating the shooting. Until it's completed, the officer involved will be on routine administrative leave. Police say he did have a body camera and it was activated. Police in West Texas say they still don't have a motive this morning after a suspect shot and killed seven people Saturday. It started with a traffic stop in Midland. Eventually, that suspect took off shooting at people all along the highway. Police say 36-year-old Seth Ator was killed by officers outside a busy movie theater in Odessa. At least 22 people were hurt. Investigators say the suspect did have one previous run-in with the law, had a misdemeanor on his record. Misdemeanor criminal trespass and evading arrest after an incident in McLennan County. In the aftermath of the second mass shooting in the state in just less than a month, new Texas laws going into effect that loosen restrictions on guns in public places. Good morning, I'm Max Massey. These new state laws impacting places like churches, schools, and even rental properties. Uh, there are eight new laws that could impact the amount you see firearms. The first pertaining to places of worship, Senate Bill 535, allowing Texans to carry guns in churches, synagogues, and other places of worship. That is, unless that place of worship wants to prohibit firearms and has the proper signage. Then there are rental properties. House Bill 302, preventing landlords from restricting tenants and preventing their guests from carrying firearms in lease agreements. And along with that, Senate Bill 741, which prevented property owners and associations from banning storage of guns on rental properties. Then the controversial topic, especially after multiple school shootings in just the last few years, guns in schools. House Bill 1387, easing restrictions on the number of school marshals who carry guns at public and private schools. Before this September, current law made it so only one armed marshal per 200 students or one armed marshal per building. And along with guns in schools, House Bill 1143, barring school district from restricting the manner in which handgun license holders store their guns and store their ammo in their vehicles and parking areas other than required to be out of sight. And these are just a few of the new laws that were instituted this September. There are more laws and a full comprehensive list that you can check out on KSAT.com. Reporting downtown, Max Massey, KSAT 12 News. And speaking of more headlines on KSAT.com and the latest on Hurricane Dorian. Have a good Labor Day.